you suddenly become a threat. This person, this person who thinks nothing less of you, fucking hates you, and fucking is a piece of shit to you, and then ignores you because he thinks that you're filth. It, it, it just feels sour. It, it feels, it doesn't feel right. Feel like you can't make amends. I want to, but like... I just don't know. It just wouldn't feel right, man. It, it, Why? It just, Why wouldn't it feel right? What's holding you back? At this very moment. His affiliation with the Vargas, guys, man. I don't like the Vargos, and the Vargos don't like me. These Vargos, man, and Dice, man, fuck Dice. Fucking the moment, the moment you turn on their business, and they're gonna turn on you. And deep down, I know that Benji is 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 fucking Vargos first. Shit, man, he's there to help his friends as long as they don't impact his business, man. Man, if I was his best fucking friend and I started impacting him on the meth, there'd be a problem first thing. He'd throw that away. Just like how I would. So businessman first, friendship later. Man, he'll do anything for you if you're a friend. He'll fucking dump a body just for you. But that's if because you're on good terms. What I'm trying to say is, Benji's a good friend. He is. But the moment that you impact his business, or the Vargo's business. He is going to prioritize that first. Sure, man. He fucking killed someone who snitched on me for me. Because, you know, we were friends. Yeah. But I know with the Vargo's that if you impact their business, even if we were still friends, man, they're gonna throw that shit out. They're gonna throw it out the window. And that's what I'm scared about. I'm scared that if I become friends with Benji, it's just gonna lead to me being hurt again. Like, man, when, when, when the bar guys were first starting out, man, they were just getting their shit off the feet, man. They were learning like everyone else. Now that they've become dominant across the city, they're gonna make sure that even if I'm their friend, they're still gonna fucking put their money first. Yeah. And I don't know if I can ever guarantee that that conflict won't be there. Not that I want to go out there and fuck with Vargo's business or be on Vargo's bad side. But, mm -hmm. man, what if Chain gets angry again, man? Then what's gonna happen? Well... Well... I mean, I'm not the one to give advice on someone who's been here longer than I am. I used to make sure I listen to the higher-ups and nothing wrong goes wrong. If you tell me to do something, I'm gonna do it. Initiative and stupid mistakes are two different things. You should be able to tell the difference for both of them, don't you think? <sighs> what's, uh, what's your take from the conversation with Benji? Because obviously you were there for quite a bit. I'm not trying to sneak around and hear the entire story. I mean, it's like, you know, what's uh, what's the outcome of this conversation between you two? Are we are we still neutral? Are we more than neutral? What's what's your take? Well, we're not enemies. It's okay. It's more or less like he, he changed from being close to making up to being open to making up. But I had always been trying to make up. But I think the last few days, man, I kind of withdrew my offer. Then he came to take the offer, uh, thinking it was still on the table, but it wasn't there. I don't think I was ready to give that offer back. Because... Because here's my point of view, man. This motherfucker, I, I love him, he's my boy. And he means everything to me. But suddenly, I'm in his meth game, and he's worried that I may fuck it up. And his first conversation is, 
don't fuck up the meth. And then he all of a sudden wants to try and be my friend. And he thinks I'm not going to be sus of that. He, he came to me first. He's like, oh, blah, 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 meth. You're stupid. You're stupid. Meth, meth, meth. And now it's like, oh, hey, let's be friends again. Only when I was possibly going to impact his meth business. I was literally, that's the only time he decided to contact me then. He had months to contact me. He had so much time to just come to me and be like, I take up your offer. But only when I impacted his business did he dare to try. Dude, Why should I, I trust him, man? Sure, show me. I don't think this is a continuation of your friendship from before. I think this is a complete start over. And I think you need to look at it that way. As much as it sucks to hear, it sounds to me like this is not continuing what was before. What was once lost is not coming back. I think, I think you have to look at this as a complete overhaul. That's how I see it. If you're willing to take that, you should. But if you feel like it's not fair, then maybe it's just not up your alley. Maybe not yet. Don't rush into things. Think about them. And I understand where you're coming from, but, you know, from, from being with you for as long as I have now, I can't help but feel if, you know, take any other gang in the city, okay? Any. You're a friend with, uh, their prime minister, their leader, or whatever. If they did the same thing to you, I think you'd be in his shoes as well, right? What decision would you make? Would you take friendship over club matters? And this is not me stepping on your toes or anything. I just want to scramble your brain a little bit. I don't like them either. Hell, I'd shoot four of them again for anyone in the club if I wanted to. Not without permission, of course. I don't give a rat's ass about the Vargos, and you know I don't. Man, it's hard for me to say. Like, I can't just sit there and say, yeah, man, I'll, I'll, I'll put my friends before the club. And then, then I start turning around and say, man, it's club before anything else. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I can't sit there and say that. I'd be lying. I hear you. Well, I say club first. And it's got to stay that way. Mm-hmm. So is Benji. Now, I know he'd be Vargo's first too. Like... Man, if he had come before I'd entered his world of meth, I'd have accepted it in a heartbeat, but the fact that he only came to me when I started impacting his business, it said a whole lot more. I want you to imagine a guy, right? They used to be best friends, and then, then he turns against, well, not he, but one or the other. It starts a falling out. Not really turns against, but there's an argument, there's a disagreement, something happened, uh, you're no longer friends. Yeah. And then you go on to be fucking, you know, yourself and, you know, successful. Well, I'm not successful, but fucking... You suddenly become a threat. This person, this person who thinks nothing less of you, fucking hates you, and fucking is a piece of shit to you, and then ignores you because he thinks that you're filth. He doesn't care about who you used to be anymore. And yeah. now suddenly you become a threat to this person. And then it's in your best interest to be friends with this guy. To, to get rid of the threat. And then he comes up to you and be friends. Wouldn't you be sus? No, of course I would. There's trust issues from both sides, isn't it? But that's also what I'm saying, right? If you were in issues, you'd probably feel the same way. It just sucks that... It's the meth thing that's bringing you back together and talking. Like you said, business. Not friendship. That's why I think you need to start looking at this thing as... Uh, not at a continuation of a friendship, but a complete start over. I'm not saying you should take my word of advice. That's just how I'm gauging the situation. You're right, man. What you just said opened my eyes so much, man. 
We only started talking about meth. We started this conversation with meth, not friends. Yup. Because, man, usually this guy would clap me if I was impacting his business. Just like he would an Oxy, because it benefited him. But, uh... The VAR guys can't clap at meth. Correct. Because they're getting deep shit. Deep, deep, mm -hmm. deep shit. So... Hey, Chuck. You dead? Ah, uh, what's your ping? Come here. Oh my god, I've been down the belly bong for like 20 minutes! Uh, my ping is... 268. I'm on the rooftop with the ammunition. Okay. Oh yeah, I know where you are. Okay, see you soon. He, he had months to come to me. But he just, just two days after being in his game and now he wants to make up. I, um, I don't expect to know entirely, you know. And, um, I don't pretend to know either, do you know this? But, um, obviously a lot of things happened before uh, I got to the city. And pretty much, you know, been talking a little bit to Chain what happened there, and then obviously Barris for me in a little bit, you've been forming in a little bit, and you know, there, there's, it's just a blur, but I kind of get the gist of Do it. Do the dishes, thank you. But, um, he's obviously setting all those things aside, and you too, but the number one question I have for you, do you stand to gain anything from starting this friendship over? Like, in your eyes, do you stand to gain money? Better friendship than it was before? What, what are you looking out for? What, what do you want? No, I just wanted to do dumb shit with my friend. You think that that would continue after today's conversation? Man, at the and end of that. For all I know, the, uh, the the meth conversation might have been the start of it, but maybe that's also just something that broke the ice. I don't know Benny personally. I've met him once. You know him better than I do. This motherfucker, at the end of the conversation, we couldn't, or oh, I couldn't make up my mind if I wanted to be friends with him or not. So we let it down to a dice roll. We both rolled dice. It was both a one. Oh, that's Chuck, all right. Hey, fellas. Hi, Chuck. Hold on, there's cops. What's it, Ray? How you doing? Doing good. I wasn't recognizing your hat. Oh, you run by me like three times a day, or is that somebody else wearing that hat? It's probably me. Um, so we came down to a dice roll because we couldn't make up our minds. So we came down to fate. If we both okay. got a one, we wouldn't be, we wouldn't be friends. If it was a two, we'd be friends. Man, we both got a one. Damn, dog. And then we waited a bit and we tried again. And we both got a one again. Let's try again. No. Damn. Thank God was himself about? was giving us a sign. But one one makes two though. That's true. That's why we tried again. Look, man. I think it's over for us. Wait for you guys? You and no. Jesse? Oh man! <sighs> Sorry, I'm coming on the ass in this conversation, but yeah. I will. I will lock uh, myself around this guy's leg if it's the last thing I had to do. I ain't leaving. Never will. Maybe you need to sleep on a D. 
You know, pick up tomorrow, don't make any rational decisions just yet. Maybe you stand to gain something from this, even though the way you're looking at it might just be, you know, whatever game you're in right now, that's why he wants your friendship. But maybe there's actually something to gain here. Or, I'll be the angel on the other shoulder, they may not know who we're talking about. Not being friends with everyone in the city is also kind of fun. Man, the millionaires, they can fuck us any day of the week. Buck. Oh. No. Oh. Well, from what I saw... You know what? I'm gonna leave that out of it. 